Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. Today I want to talk to you about running Confluent on Kubernetes. Confluent for Kubernetes is a declarative, API-based control plane used to deploy and manage Confluent on any self-hosted Kubernetes-based infrastructure. You can use it to manage Confluent platform components like, say, Schema Registry, Connect, or Kafka itself, as well as application resources like schemas, connectors, and topics. We build off the standard Kubernetes APIs for managing networking, storage, and compute, and as a result, we can operate on any CNCF-conformant Kubernetes distro. We'll start with the Confluent for Kubernetes operator. This plays the role of the management control plane. The operator is packaged and installed as a Helm chart. Let's provision it. For each type of Confluent component, like Connect, KSQLDB, Kafka, all the gang, Confluent for Kubernetes extends the Kubernetes REST API via a custom resource definition. You can then create an instance of a Confluent component cluster with your desired configurations specified in a custom resource submitted to the Kubernetes API. In this case, we're showing here with the kubectl-control CLI. When you apply a new or changed custom resource, the operator will notice what you've done and do something about it. To illustrate this, let's provision a production Confluent deployment. Let's start with a scenario guide for a production deployment. I'll look at these scenario examples here in GitHub. Now, what do we care about when we're configuring for production? We want a deployment that includes authentication, Confluent RBAC authorization, and full network encryption. And that seems like a reasonable place to start. We want it to be properly sized, of course, so let's specify the RAM and CPU to give to the Kafka brokers. And I'd said that we want network encryption, right? Well, for implementing that, we'll bring our own certificates. This requires that we specify a certificate authority and server certificates generated by that certificate authority. We'll provide these certificates as a Kubernetes secret, and Confluent for Kubernetes will take those and configure security for each component. It's so great. Now, to deploy Confluent, we'll just take the file with each component's custom resource definition that specifies production sizing and security requirements and apply it. And there you go. You have a complete Confluent platform deployment with appropriate resources and security all configured from one declarative spec. Now that we've got our deployment, what do we want to do next? Well, obviously, a dashboard view. For that, we turn to Control Center. Now, since this cluster is secured with Confluent RBAC, we'll need to specify a user for Control Center with the right role and permissions to monitor this Confluent deployment we can specify all the permissions needed declaratively through role bindings. Once that's in place, we use the Confluent kubectl plugin to open up the Control Center dashboard and log in. Confluent provides an ecosystem of connectors to move data into and out of your Kafka deployment. This ecosystem is available on Confluent Hub. I'm going to choose the DataGen connector to work with here. This connector produces automatically generated fake data of a variety of schemas, which is really useful in testing scenarios like this one. It's super cool, honestly. The connector configurations are expressed in the connector custom resource. This connector requires a topic to produce data to, which is not surprising. We'll call that ratings and define it through a Kafka topic custom resource. The topic has a schema, and that's also defined declaratively through the schema custom resource. We'll provision the connector by applying the YAML definition file. What just happened here is that Confluent for Kubernetes reached out to Confluent Hub, pulled the DataGen connector from the hub, installed it, and deployed it along with the required topic and connector, and all with just one deploy command. Now, if you think about it, this infrastructure definition is sort of like code. We might even say that, that this is infrastructure as code, to coin a phrase, and this approach, this infrastructure as code approach, unlocks another possible set of practices broadly called GitOps, where the state of your infrastructure is defined in a GitHub branch, and changes to that infrastructure can be negotiated and ratified by pull requests. Suppose you want to scale up the cluster we just deployed. We'll create a pull request where we update one thing, change the number of Kafka brokers from five to seven. Once this pull request is merged, the GitOps continuous deployment pipeline will apply the Kafka custom resource. Provisioning new storage, memory, CPU, networking resources, or whatever you want on worker nodes, spinning up new Kafka brokers, ensuring that they're running and existing partitions are balanced across all those brokers, 
All of this is automated in Confluent for Kubernetes with one declarative spec change. Now, suppose we want to develop and test a new app. We'll want another Confluent deployment, a development environment. So let's deploy one. We'll have custom resources for all components of Confluent Platform just sized for a development use case. That's just the memory, CPU, and storage we need at minimal cost. And remember how we talked about network encryption? Well, here we choose the second option. We'll use auto-generated certificates. We'll provide a certificate authority and Confluent for Kubernetes will generate and configure certificates for each component. Again, it's such a relief to have that done for you. We're using a Minikube Kubernetes cluster as our development infrastructure, typical laptop-based kind of thing. We'll apply the dev YAML for a single node cluster to Minikube and we're up and running. Now that we have my development environment set up, the next step is deploying the streaming app that we're building. We can explore to see what Kafka listeners are in place. For each listener, we can get the client configurations we'll need. It's all provided in the Kafka custom resource status. We'll add this client configuration to the new application. Here, we've got an application that produces random quotes from movies. I kind of like it. Uh, the application, just like everything else, is expressed as YAML files. Once deployed, we'll log into Control Center and inspect that my app is functioning and it looks like it is. We've got movie quotes flowing into our topic. With Confluent for Kubernetes, you can define the entire state of your infrastructure and applications using the declarative constructs you expect from Kubernetes. This allows you to automate and manage your streaming infrastructure and applications from one cluster to hundreds of clusters across your organization. Mm -hmm.